Alright guys, so in this video, I want to quickly go over some team recommendations that you guys can use for clearing 17-1 dark mode as well as the other modes. Um, as well as for the story mode as well, alright? This is going to be more of a general team, so if you guys are struggling with something like 17-21, where is the worm boss, as well as 17-30, which is the, uh, you know, golden cheese, um, then I will make a separate video on those. But this is going to be more for the general usage of a team that can be used to clear, you know, uh, just normal stages that does not have specific bosses and stuff like that, especially the 17-1. So the team is going to be filled with Space Donut, Hollow Berry, as well as Tartitan, Cream Puff, and Cotton. And the reason why I went with this uh, is because of the fact that there is no glitch debuff as of right now for this particular stage. And once that happens, I do recommend you switch out someone like Space Donut for someone like Burn Cheese. Because Burn Cheese is going to be able to prevent, uh, you know, the glitch debuff on himself as well as your DPS, your main DPS, alright? Because, you know, that is the whole point of Burn Cheese, right? So I do recommend if you guys do have Burn Cheese to switch out uh, Space Donut for Burn Cheese for later stages where the glitch debuff is. But this is going to be more of a, you know, uh, epic oriented team that you guys can use to clear 17-1 dark mode. This is not on my account. This is on Joy Rule's account. Hence, that's the reason why Hollowberry is not Max Ascended. Uh, Tartitan is not Max Ascended or Space Donut is Max Ascended. All right, so let's go over the top real quick. Very simple, uh, five solid armor for Hollowberry. Damage resist is very important for your tanks, especially in these particular stages. Cooldown, less important. Damage resist is very important because of the damage that they need to tank, alright? So, focus on the damage resist. Same thing for Space Dota. Damage resist is very, very important. 5 of the Solid Almond. And then for Tartitan, she is using 3 of the Saiyan Ransby, 2 Juicy Apple Jelly. And the reason why I went with the Juicy Apple Jelly for this particular team is because we do have Cream Puff with the Magic Candy in order to give us extra buff, alright? But make sure to have attack speed and damage resist because you do want the enchanted robe buff on Tartitan. Next one is going to be Cotton. So the reason why I actually recommend Cotton for this particular uh, episode and this particular stage is because of the sheep. The sheep are able to go in the front, tank for your team, stun the enemy as well, which is really, really good. And additional to the cream puff heal, Cotton is also able to do a little bit of healing as well. So because of the fact that there is no real enemies that hit the back lane, we are focusing less on the damage resist and going for more of the cooldown. And then last one, Cream Puff uh, with the Magic Candy. We are using 5 of the Juicy Apple Jelly, focusing on the crit and a little bit of cooldown. Damage resist, if you have it, it's really uh, going to help out. And the Magic Candy level right now for Cream Puff for Joy Rules account is at plus 11. And the choice of treasure is going to be the scroll as well as the Enchanted Rope and the Jelly Watch. And the reason why I'm not using the Whistle is because of the fact that Tartitan is not going to take any hit, really. Um, it's mainly going to be the tanks in the front, so that's the reason why I'm doing it. So, she actually cleared it at 2 star. I don't know what team she used, but let's go and clear this 3 star for her. And uh, we're going to be able to see the Enchanted Robots on Space Donut and Tartitan. But you can see right there, tar uh, Tartitan does really, really good damage. And then Space Donut also turns them into Donut, all right, preventing them from uh, you know attacking for some time. And then all also, the uh, sheep stuns them all right so preventing them from attacking your cookies again cream puff is a great great uh you know aoe healer burst healer uh, so that's a really really good thing as well and that's the reason why we've been caught in for that continuous heal all right which allows us to get some healing while uh the cooldown is up on cream puff all right so there you guys go uh it does prevent a lot of the swarm from coming in and the hollow berry uh, i didn't mention but you know, Hollow Berry is for the damage focus, right? Uh, great tank overall for the, you know, World Exploration. If you don't have Hollow Berry, Wall Berry is another good option as well. All right, but there you guys go. Tartitan absolutely shredding them, all right, inside of the World Exploration. And that is the reason why I recommended her inside of my previous video talking about the five epics that you honestly should be investing in. And Space Zone is there as well. Alright guys, so I do recommend you guys to try out this team. If you guys have anything like this, where you have to actually go and finish this within 45 seconds, I do recommend, I do recommend to kind of switch out probably, uh, you know, Cream Puff or someone like Kaz in here um, to put in like someone like Black Pearl, someone like Moonlight, someone like Sherbet, someone who's able to hit multiple times. Squid Ink is also really, really good because you do have that rock uh, to kind of, uh, you know, get rid of. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm actually going to put in Squid Ink here, guys. Let's put in Squid Ink because Squid Ink is another, you know, epic that we have. Um, all right, here we go, guys. So um, the, the enemies are not going to be too strong uh, for this one. It's mainly on that time focus. 
So content should be enough uh, most of the time. If content is not enough to tank for you, and you can see my holiday is actually like dying too. If that is not enough for you, then instead of content, probably bringing someone like uh, you know Cream Puff is probably a better option. All right, uh, because the healing is going to be there, and Squid Ink and Space Donut Tartan are going to be mainly enough to deal with the uh, enemies. All right, um, so there you guys go. All right, and there, yeah. So another epic oriented team that you guys can use to clear something like this. But in general, guys, uh, this is the team that I would recommend. Again, if you guys do have, all right, someone like, uh, or if you don't have uh, Cream Puff, Pure Vanilla is another great option. Parfait is another option that you guys can use. Uh, but Cream Puff is definitely going to be more of the PVE queen when it comes to healing uh, for the world exploration and the dark mode especially. And then instead of Space Donut, if you don't have Space Donut or you, you know, you're going to have to deal with glitches, uh, then instead of Space Donut, Burn Cheese is going to be another great option as well. Alright, so hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Kind of wanted to quickly go over some of the general team that you guys can use for the world exploration. Of course, if you have someone like, you know, Moon Knight, you have someone like Black Pearl with the Crystal Jam, you have uh, Golden Cheese, uh, you have Ataya, then you guys can definitely go and use them for this particular, you know, episode. But if you don't, this is something I recommend. Try it out. They're interchangeable as well. Don't, don't be stuck with just the team that I always share with you guys. Find the one that works for you guys. This is more of a guideline and a general team composition you guys can build off of. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.